when we were kids and we all thought we'd be flying cars around right now? Well, it's something not even the Jetsons could dream up. A new CGI image shows off a giant nuclear-powered flying hotel that could stay in the air for months at a time. It's part plane, part hotel, part shopping mall, gym, theater, you name it. It could carry 5,000 people on board. Basically a cruise in the sky but would you get on this thing, Rochelle? Not for any amount of money. Nuclear, 5,000 people on it. Absolutely not. This is, for me, this is the stuff of nightmares. I mean, technologically, it's, it's stunning, but I don't really see how it would get off the ground with a swimming pool, a gym, restaurants. I, the, people are calling it the new Titanic. I'm, yeah, I'm not, not on board with this, literally or figuratively. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you there, Rochelle. I have a lot of questions. I mean, I think it's really cool. I would definitely go and tour it if it was on the ground. But I just don't really get how it's going to work. But it is certainly very interesting. It will be pilotless, so it's not going to have to deal with any of the labor shortage stories that we've been talking about so much here when it comes to planes up in the sky right now. But certainly very cool. I'm just not a buyer of it yet. Yeah, no pilots. That makes you more comfortable. I was going to say. In like, that yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Maybe no you want way, no chance. Complete sweep here.